All right, today we're going to bring the Kragen 280. Uh, this version is going to be replacing my existing one. I had a Falcon one, but it's dead already. It's overheating right now. Uh, the pumps is a little hot. It looks like it's lasting about two or three years already. Uh, it might be more liquid, and right now I'm not going to open it up and refill it up. So we're going to go ahead and set this up because I want to say make sure I can see the temperatures too. So uh, plus this one's an older one already, and it has outdated data that's not working no more. It's not able, capable of handling anything from Windows 11. So we're going to go replace this one with the new one. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got the two um, fans in here that we're going to set up, including to give you the screws and everything included with it. But we're not going to use the ex we're going to use the existing screws because we're going to mount this right underneath of it and fold it down. So we're going to I cleaned it up already the CPU. So we're going to go ahead and um, install it, and I'll show you guys how I do it. I had to I had to pull the my camera down. <laughs> All right, we're putting the fans on the top. I'm gonna screw these these underneath of it because um, this is gonna be loose. So I'm have to underneath because the screws don't match on the Y60. All right, so these are a little bit off, but you can leave it as it is too. But I don't want to. I'm gonna tie it down so it won't move and it will adjust. And the cables, I'm gonna pass them through here underneath the motherboard so it could be nice and tight. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the water cooling system right over it. So and then the water cooling system is going to go right there in this system. So it won't interfere with my other water cooling system, which is a GPU. So uh, let's go ahead and continue and finish it up. But uh, we're going to make sure that the cable is not going to be tangled up and, it, and I can do some cable management now. All right. To cut the sticker, make sure all the cables management is nice and secure. Um, put in the USB here in the bottom. How to roll it out. Um, make sure that this water is not going to hit this other water system. So we're going to complete it right now. Let's see how it looks. And I want to make sure I'm, I'm, this is visible. I try to do it the other way, but this is too short. So we're gonna, this is the only way it works right now on the Y60. Hype Y60. Here we have a little crowded, <laughs> but it's working. I got this with the pump on the top. Going to the pump in the GP, CPU and then this one for the pump. In the back for the GPU, so it's a little crowded on this system, but it's good. I mean, as long as it runs good, uh, that's all I care. Make sure that the CPU and the GPU are nice and cool in here because it is a little hot in this room. So that's why I got the water cooling system. Let's go ahead and crank it up and see what we have to install, right? Because you do have to get the cam and install the drivers. All right, so in order to make changes on the actual water cooling system, you need to download the NZXT CAM uh, application. Now, this application works for various um, different kinds of um, um, products. It's not just for made for the, its own products, but you can actually change motherboards and so forth as long as uh, it qualifies within its means, all right? So you can control the lighting here. For example, I have the pump settings here for the liquid. We could change it. We could even make it even to start moving more RPMs around it. You could increase the fan speed. Uh, you could change the lighting on the actual pump. You could change the actual facts that it has in there too. So that's one of the great things I like about it. Right now we have it as default. I'm not changing anything. It's really quiet as it is. So you are gonna need the application. There it is, guys. It's jamming in there. I'm gonna turn it on. You could change the colors. Display the different items. Have the controller control from from the cam. It's crowded, but it's doing its job. So, hope you guys enjoy the video.